Hello? Jasmine. Hey, honey. How? Where are you? Um, at my sorority's house. What's wrong with you? You didn't come home last night. I was worried about you. Okay, well, I'm at my sorority's house. We were drinking last night and I didn't want to drive home drunk, so I just crashed on the couch. I was just making sure. What's up with your attitude? Who said that I even had an attitude? You saying that I have an attitude makes me get an attitude. This shit pissed me off every time, Alvin. I'm sorry. I was worried and I had to check on you. Is that a crime? Damn, why you always get mad when I'm choosing to be a good boyfriend to you? Oh, now you want to be a good boyfriend? Now you want to step up and be a man to me? <sighs> Whatever, I'll just talk to you when I get home. <sighs> okay, Jasmine. I'm sorry, Dennis. Don't be. I already know what it is. What's that supposed to be? Come on, Jazz. That's a good dude. You need to give him a chance. Dennis, you don't understand. Through this entire relationship with him, I've tried everything I can, but I don't know. I'm starting to think we should have just remained friends from the start. What happened? You never even told me what happened. I met Alvin my last year of college. I actually met him out here, but I was still with Terrence at the time. But we just used to kick it. We were cool and not even on no boyfriend-girlfriend stuff either. But, I don't know. One day, we went out, got drunk, and we had sex. And I don't know, I guess he took that as a sign that we should be together, but I really didn't even want a relationship at the time. I just didn't want to miss out on nothing if I let him go. Well, looks like this is what we're going to have to let go. But do we have to? Do you want to? I mean, why can't I just be yours? Come in. Hey, Al, you busy? No, sir. Come right on in. That's hat. Huh? How's it going? It's going. How can I help you? You bring in the top percent of revenue of anybody in this company, and all you can say is it's going? Everything's going well, man. How's everything going with you? It's going good, man. Really looking forward to spending Christmas with the family, you know? What about you? What are you doing? No, we, we don't celebrate Christmas. You don't celebrate? Were you some kind of Muslim or something? Who doesn't celebrate Christmas? Oh, no, no, no. I'm no Muslim. It's just that this country convinces people to buy things they really don't need just to make their family and friends feel special. I'm not with that. Love should be enough to show you care. Man, that's not what Christmas is about. It's about spending time with your family and your friends and celebrating Jesus' birthday. And why can't you spend time with family and friends throughout the year? Besides, how do you even know when Jesus' birthday was? Can I ask you something? Sure. You're not like other black people, are you? What do you mean? You know, like... You're not the typical black guy. And what's the typical black guy? Look, Alvin, I mean no offense. I really just wanted to come in here and congratulate you on a job well done. I mean, you're the only black guy in the company with an office. You must not be like other black people. Thanks, John. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's gonna be my cue to go, so. 
Have a good weekend. You too, John. Something like that. How you doing, Miss Trina? I'm good. Same shit, different toilet. I'm just trying to get through the night. I hear that. How's night going? You know, the usual. I have a few more hours left before I can clock out and go my ass home. What you doing later that got you ready to leave so early? <laughs> nah, shit. You know I'm just here to pay the bills. What's up, my beautiful black people? What's up, Farrakhan? <laughs> okay, Queen of Sheba. I see somebody got jokes tonight. <laughs> I'll give you two some time to decide what y'all want. Thanks, Thanks Trina. No problem. What's up, King? How them white folks been treating you? Shit, I can't call it. How them badass kids treating you? <laughs> man, I love those babies' kids. Really trying to get them off of this pagan Christian holiday. But man, it's the adults that really get to me. That's why I stick to myself. I don't see how you do it. Negro, I don't see how you do it. I know it's stressful in that place where you are. Just a little. Yo, let me tell you what happened after work today, though. <clears throat> Before you two start talking about your ratchet stories and Dara <laughs> starts giving us another history lesson, what can I get y'all? Hey, 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 Queen of Sheba. <laughs> I gotta speak the truth. It's a must that I inform my people on what's going on in society, even if they don't want to hear it. But, uh, you can bring me an order of those buffalo wings. Jack Daniels on the rocks. Got it, Daryl X. And get <laughs> Alvin. Crown and Coke. And let me get the burger and fries, too. Got it. Let me go put your order in, and then I'll come back and make y'all drinks. Thanks, Trina. Thanks, Trina. So, today, I'm minding my own business, trying to leave work, right? True. Then all of a sudden, some white man asked me, why do I celebrate Christmas? <laughs> then he has the nerve to ask me, well, why don't you act like the normal black man? The normal black man? Did you ask him what that consists of? Yeah. He didn't even have an answer for me. And I'm mad that he even felt comfortable enough to ask me that in the first place. What you expect? I mean, you do wear a suit and tie every day. I mean, you do a better job than the CEO of the motherfucking company. You should already know they watching your every move. You think so? Brother, I know so. You're a black man in America. On top of that, you're educated. On top of that, you have one of the highest positions in the company. He was probably trying to get a reaction out of you. White folks gonna come for everything that you have because they want what you have. Just be aware. Don't let them win. Play your position. Isn't that racism? Thanks, Trina. Thanks, Trina. You think it's racism? I say yes and no. I mean, racism is very difficult to detect. I mean, they try to paint this picture of us having a decision to work our way up. But... How can we decide to work our way up considering they had us in slavery? We supposed to just forget about the 400 years of slavery? What about the self-generating trauma? I mean, what about the psychological brutality? I mean, racism, classism, segregation, even the prison-like mentality they try to give our people. I see what you mean. That's why I try to say to myself. Just play the game, remember. The suit and tie is just an international jersey that'll keep you protected in the work environment. Soon as you slip up, they on your ass. But why? Shows them you a civilized black man. Ask Willie Lynch about what they used to do to uncivilized niggas. Well, look like that time to hit this bookstore, get my weekend read. Is that how you spend your weekends? <laughs> well, Miss Queen of Sheba, most of my weekends. Plus, I understand it's very fundamental to read. Remember what they used to do to our ancestors if they picked up a book to read. Y'all's enjoying y'all's night, you hear? <laughs> Bye, you old Negro spiritual. Hey, fam, I'll holler at you next week. 
All right, bro, be easy. What about you, Alvin? Any plans for the weekend? Shit, I don't know. I want to do something with my girl, but she on some other shit. Uh-oh, what's going on now? I mean, we just haven't been seeing eye to eye. You think living together messed things up? That could be a part of the problem. I'm starting to realize women like their own space just like we do. Yeah, that's true shit. That's why I'm still single. Plus, don't nobody want to feel like anyone's property. That's odd coming from a woman. Especially because y'all so territorial. Always trying to claim a man. Yeah, but once we invest time, money, and pussy into a man that we're involved with, then we have to protect our investment. The shit gets fucked up when the investment gets to acting like none of that matters or pretends to be in a relationship, but his actions show that he's single. Oh, it's just not always like that. Me and my girl haven't had sex in months, and we live together. <laughs> it sounds like you need another shot. No, no. What, Alvin? How come you never talked to Derry about the situation with you and this mystery girlfriend? Well, for one, she's already friends with Ella. And for two, the nigga told me not to move in with her. <laughs> Okay, okay. Alright, Jim, I'll see you next Friday. <laughs> Alright, Alvin, see you next time. Uh, Hello. Whoa. I said, yo, I said, you probably figure I'm high. I'm chasing figures, that bullshit get put to the side. I can't get put off the island. It's too much shit on my pride. It's too much shit on my pride. You probably figure I'm high. Yeah, it's me. I called you. Oh, yeah, I was in the shower. And why didn't you call me when you got out? Because I knew this was about the time you'd come home. What if it was an emergency? What if I needed your help or something? I don't know what you want me to say. I mean, obviously you're good, so... You dropped those presents off at your mom's? Yeah, you told me you don't even celebrate Christmas. So why'd you buy my mom Christmas presents? Daryl really got you not celebrating special holidays, huh? Christmas is a pagan holiday. The history behind it is disturbing. And Daryl doesn't have me doing anything. He doesn't control me. Can't tell. How was work? Work was cool, but I'm really thinking about quitting and going back to school to get my master's. Why quit your job, though? Because of the time conflict. But, I mean, if I can find a job where I can work morning to afternoon, come home, take a nap, then go to school, that would be a blessing. At least very little time for us. Please, not now. I'm just saying, Jasmine, we hardly have time. You got church Sundays and Wednesdays, plus choir rehearsal on Thursdays. When will you have time for us? Oh my God, I will try to make time, Alvin, okay? I mean, fuck, we already live together. What more do you want from me? Where are you going? Out with my friends to a Christmas party. Damn, stop with all the questions. Why are you always interrogating me? Jasmine, we live together. So? That doesn't mean you have to interrogate me on my every move. I mean, I don't ask you where you be on every Friday night. You know where I'm at on Fridays. I invite you to go. Oh my god, Alvin, I don't want to sit there and listen to their last talk shit about white people all night. I don't want to watch any games, and I really don't want to be sitting there all night irritated and ready to leave. You just don't want to do shit with me, do you? I mean, you know, should find a better selection of things to do. Shouldn't be so boring. If you need anything, give me a call. you been? I haven't seen you since graduation. I know, it's been a minute. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. What are you doing out here? 
Oh, well, I moved out here after graduation. What are you doing out here? I just moved out here as well. Really? Yeah. Did you finish school? No, I didn't. It got too expensive, so I just came back out here. I'm going to a trade school right now until I can pay it off. Gotcha. Well, that's good. That's good. Thanks. Uh, still with Terrence? What do you do? Well, right now I'm working, but pretty soon I'm going to go back to school to get my master's. And no, me and Terrence broke up around graduation. Yeah. Oh, was it because of me? You played a part, but it was bound to happen. Felt like it was just a college thing anyway. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you talked to him? Um, I texted him when I first moved out here, but I never got a reply. I hope everything's good with them though. I mean, I don't have any beef nor malice with them. Maybe we had great times together. Well, that's interesting. Are you seeing anybody right now? Uh, no, I'm not actually. That's cool. Who invited you to this naughty holiday party? Oh, my friend Ella over there. Oh, I didn't realize you came with friends. Yeah. I tell you what, let's put your number on my phone. Sorry. I don't want to take time away from you and your friends. I'm going to catch up later. Maybe. Alright. It was nice seeing you again. It was good to see you too. Oh, I can't wait to hang out with you. Same here. You have a good night, Dennis. You too. So was that Jasmine? Yeah, girl, he's cute. A friend from college. He's in town on business. He went to MSU? Yes, he did. They looking like that. I should have went to him as you. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember him. Is he Greek? Nah, he didn't pledge. Around 3 a.m. I hit her back, she want me to come through. She's so weird, I go get her broke, and I'm gon' get it. Said she gon' do it for the video, but she only does for me. me. She real nasty, but still classic. You real one, she talks sassy. I know she got my back. She got my back. She get down with that. Whatever I need, she's aiming to please. Or whatever she do, what she's gonna provide. Just wanna make it up out the hood. That don't mean I'ma go Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Still want a house in the hills though. I want to view you a kill for. Chilling with models and actresses. Ain't no more moving them packages. I wanna feel like we're dreaming. Don't wanna wake up from dreaming. Shout out my exes for leaving. Flexing like I got a reason. Bitch, you don't woke up a demon. Haters, yeah, we got them steaming. They tryna mark us like Neiman. Drop us out all in the season. Killing shit, we got them grieving. I got them salty as regular lace. Sorry, but I don't got regular ways. Quarterback Courtney caught regular plays. I cannot settle for minimum wage. Rappers, they got the most feminine ways. Gossip about me, yeah, I got them big mad. I just want green like a motherfucking zigzag. Straight hot the wind, yeah, I want me a big bag. Uh, straight Bruce Lee, all the styles I kick. Even with a stylish, y'all couldn't. Style shit, nope. probably why they acting out but hurt. Uh, still, I ain't never gave a fuck first. Uh, okay. Rash, baby, I just wanna fuck first. I ain't even self, baby, I'll let you bust first. How does it feel to make love to a god? They am not Thomas, but they know I'm all. Uh, just wanna make it up out the hood. That don't mean I'ma go Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Still want a house in the hills, though. I want to view you a kill for. Chilling with models and actresses. Ain't no more moving them packages. No I wanna feel like we're dreaming. Like Don't wanna wake up from dreaming. Shout out my exes for leaving. Flexing like I got a reason. Flex, Bitch, flex. you done woke up a demon. Haters, yeah, we got them steaming. They tryna mark us like Neiman. Dropping salt all in the sea.